Howdy everybody, this is uh, Luke Peterson here, uh, Central Market employee, um, and uh, today we're going to start um, hopefully what is going to be one of many water and drink reviews. Um, I've noticed a lot of great products on the shelf here and uh, just wanting to try them all really. So uh, to kick it off here, we've got Richard's Rainwater. Let's get a good close up on that. We've got a little dent on the can. Uh, no fault at Richard himself for that. Uh, this is out of Dripping Springs, Texas. Yes. Um, so close to home for me. I'm from Austin, so uh, very good. Um, I, I like the packaging already. Uh, very eye-catching. Um, and you often don't see water kind of in, I guess, for lack of a better term, a tall boy can like this. Um, so that was kind of uh, interesting enough for me to want to want to try it out. So without further ado, let's try it All right, got a little splash there Doesn't really smell like anything because it's water I was really thirsty there, so I had to take a big chug all right, I really dig this water. I really dig this water. I mean, this is, I think, top, top notch stuff right here. It tastes pure, um, clean. Um, it just, yeah, it just, both of those things, you know, really work together. Um, it doesn't taste like there's really been kind of anything added to it, like, um, I guess, minerals or electrolytes or anything like that. This is pure, unadulterated, well, filtered rainwater and purified. Uh, but really good stuff here. Um, you know, I could see myself getting a, a whole pallet of these. <sighs> that is refreshing. I highly recommend Richard's Rainwater. Um, now I already did open up this Rambler sparkling water, but I'll go through the process with you guys again and, um, you know, we'll kind of break it down. So, um, really liked the packaging on it. Uh, the, the label, uh, really cool. Um, again, you know, you don't, well, I guess for sparkling water, you kind of do see it in a can like this. Um, but not really for, you know regular water. But um, yeah, it was really eye-catching um, and I was into it. Um, it's also um, made in Austin, Texas where I'm from. So, you know, kind of got that, um, you know, hometown kind of appeal to me going. So um, Texas limestone filtered. Um, you know, I'm unfamiliar with the process of limestone filtering, so I wouldn't really be able to um, tell you what effect that has on the water itself, but um, let's check it out here. All right All right, so we got a really refreshing um, Taste kind of or sensation really um, when you first take that sip But the aftertaste, not gonna lie to you, kind of tastes like pool water. And I mean, just the neighborhood pool, like there might've been a toddler pissing in it. You know, this, this pool might've been closed down for, you know, like you, you, it's a hot summer day, you go to the pool, you're excited, you know, you're gonna have a really, you know, refreshing, cooling down time there and it's it's all great and you picked out your 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 coolest swimsuit and, and all that and then you get there and then the staff tells you okay a toddler shat in the fucking pool so we have to close it down this is what that tastes like this is the 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 manifestation of that into a taste like I said, I do kind of like the refreshing sensation at first, um, but it was really the aftertaste for me. I might 
go ahead and pour that out. So uh, that concludes today's review um, of Richard's Rain Water and Rambler Sparkling Water. Um, I hope you enjoyed, you know, I'll do more of these as I see fitting and uh, as I have time. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and I, I hope that I've helped kind of uh, maybe shape uh, some of your decisions at the grocery store, uh, you know, in the days to come. So, peace. <laughs>